And one of our top stories today, the Clinton campaign joining the recount effort in Wisconsin. President-elect Donald Trump calling it a scam. Let's bring in our very fair and balanced panel. Ron Bonjean is the former chief of staff to the Senate Republican Conference. And Mark Levine is a member of the Virginia House of Delegates. Both of them have been on the show. I want to start um, with you, if I may, Mark, and I, and I, um, I want to play a soundbite from Hillary Clinton. It was after the debate, October 24th. I want you to take a listen, and then I'm going to get your response. And Ron's too. Donald said something, well, he said a lot of things that were troubling, but he said something truly horrifying. He became the first person running for president, Republican or Democrat, who refused to say that he would respect the results of this election. That is a direct threat to our democracy. I think I know how you're going to respond, but is, is this an epic waste of time, or is this ensuring the uh, confidence in, in the American political system? Well, look, I don't think it's going to overturn the election, but I do think it does ensure confidence. Look, prior to the election, because of what Donald Trump said, a majority of his voters believe the elections were rigged. A minority of Clinton voters believe the elections were rigged. Let's show the American people that they're not. Let's count all the votes and show that there's, there's not. I mean, Hillary Clinton accepted the results of the election. This obviously wasn't her decision to do this, but... but it's her a, a decision to say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support this. You know, it's happening. And she's going to be counted. Her lawyers are going to be there. At the end of the day, election machines can be hacked. It's one of the reasons why in Virginia I've strongly supported saying we should have paper records for all voting. We're going to do okay. that in 2020. Okay. Let's right. just show Americans that the votes are accurate. All right, Ron, I, I have a feeling that you're dis disagreeing yeah. with that statement. This is a gigantic waste of time. The Obama administration... And money. And money. The Obama administration has said that the election results should stand, that they believe in them, completely undercutting Jill Stein's effort. The one person this is helps is Jill Stein. It raises her but name. But does it help Jill Stein? I, 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 we have a, I have a full screen quote I want to put up. It was her during her interview um, on NPR. And she basically said, and I don't have it in front of me, which is why I'm waiting, that, it, that this isn't going to necessarily change the outcome. Right, that's exactly right. It helps her because of the fundraising that's going on. This is costing millions of dollars. And in the Milwaukee Journal in Wisconsin, the Green Party, which she belongs to, said whatever money is not spent is going to be spent on their campaign schools, their recruitment. So this is not exactly, when Donald Trump says it's a scam, I completely believe him. This is, this is not just about certifying the election results. She says it's probably fine. Let me actually agree with Ron. I think Jill Stein should commit publicly today that every penny not spent on the recount will go back to the people who gave her the money. This shouldn't be used as a fundraiser for the Green Party. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, she's not going to do that. Uh, she may not, but she should. And I think we should call on her. We liberals should call on her to do that. This money was used, was designed for a specific purpose for the recount. She shouldn't be using it for the Green okay. Party. Okay. Um, we've seen Donald Trump put up a, a number of tweets this morning. Initially, he stayed sort of taking the high road, and then he started to really respond. How should he be handling this? Because it's a lot of money. A a lot of people need to work to do this recount, especially if it's going to be in more than one state right now. It's just Wisconsin. How, how should he be handling the response? I want to start with you, Ron. Look, he's sent out a series of tweets now. We know how he feels, right. <laughs> no question about it. And I think he's made his point, and now he needs to leave it to the campaign. What he's doing with those series of tweets is unusual for a president-elect, but he's getting around the mainstream media and making sure his voters understand what his message is. And I, and I, I do respect that. In the end, you don't think this is damaging to, to the Democratic Party? Look, this is not taxpayer money. This is legally allowable. Jill Stein has every right to do this. It's going to happen. I think if it brings more confidence in our elections that they haven't been hacked, it's a good thing. And also, I think it's good for people to remember, we need to get rid of those electronic voting machines. We shouldn't have hackable voting machines. I'd like to see that happen in Virginia in 2017. Do you think that's going to happen? Well, first of all, I, I have to say this makes Hillary Clinton really look like a sore loser. It makes her look bad. Second of all, say these, these voting machines said they, they're internet proof. They're not connected to the internet. It they cannot. Matter. They can still be hacked. They cannot be hacked. They can still be hacked. That's exactly what Manually. the experts are saying. But it's up to the states. That, that's Absolutely. a state decision. Which, and that's actually more and more states are moving to paper records. In fact, Michigan and Wisconsin have paper records. It's largely Pennsylvania that's the problem. Shame on Pennsylvania. They need to fix that. And it's, and it's something that, frankly, more and more states are doing. It should be a national movement. We should have confidence in our election. All right. Well, um, we're going to have you guys back because we're going to see how this goes. Um, like we talked about, it's going to be a lot of money spent and a lot of people working to do this. So. Private money, though. Not public. Private money. <laughs> but millions of it. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. And still ahead, when we come back.